Uh, hi, uh, yes, Ian Bremer, uh, President of your age group. I'm responding to the question from Carolina, 120710, from Juarez, Mexico. How do I think the global economy will be in three, five, and ten years? What can we do to make it better? Well, I mean, clearly, uh, what we the, the, the environment that we've had over the last 40 years, one of Western-driven globalization, uh, one where uh, values are common among all of the uh, countries that, that have real influence globally, economic systems, political systems, is a period of unmatched uh, efficiency and productivity, and even though there are winners and losers, um, it nonetheless was one that, that definitely uh, spoke towards more economic growth. Uh, we're not going to see that going for the next three, five, ten years. It's going to be much more challenging, but clearly there will be relative winners and losers. Uh, in part, resilience will become more important than growth. Japan has nothing to teach us whatsoever on growth in the global economy right now. They're going towards their third lost decade, but they have a lot to teach us about resilience after an extraordinary earthquake, tsunami, uh, and nuclear catastrophe, Japanese society is still doing very well. Increasingly, when we look at the global economy, even if those numbers aren't as gaudy, even with problems of food distribution and water availability and climate change and fights over, over natural resources and, and, and fights between state capitalism and the free market, that's a period where we'll, we will see folks looking towards safety. We'll see much more risk aversion. And so countries that, can, that are more adaptable and, and governments that have more resilience and stability will be the ones we look towards. That's true for both consumers consolidated democratic uh, regimes like the United States um, and, and Japan, but it's also true for more consolidated authoritarian regimes. And in that regard, it's notable that the Arab Spring spread throughout a lot of the Middle East, but not really among the wealthiest uh, of the Gulf state economies, places that will be relatively insulated, even Russia, given the demonstrations going on. Putin may well take some of that on, he may well not, but the relative stability of that government is comparatively high, and that certainly bodes better uh, in terms of economic stability and resilience over the medium term. Thanks very much.